I've just updated the BIOS on this system. And if we switch over to the PC over here and have a look in system information, um, we can see that Secure Boot has been switched off for some reason. So let's head into the BIOS and see if we can figure out what's going on. So we're on a B550 Gaming X V2. And if we head over to the boot section, um, first of all, after updating the BIOS for some reason, the um, CSM support gets re-enabled. So we're going to disable that. And if we head down to Secure Boots, we would normally enable this by switching it off and back on again. So we can change it back to custom and then we can switch it back to standard, just like that. And then we can press yes. Um, however, we're presented with this error. Secure boot variable update is locked down. It tells us to try again after system reboot, um, but no matter how many times you do this, that will not work. Long story short, the issue is to do with the BIOS update. So you can either downgrade the BIOS or update the BIOS if there's a new version released. So if you already know how to do that, just go ahead and downgrade the BIOS, or upgrade the BIOS to a different version and your problem will be sorted. If you don't know how to do that, then follow along. We're going to downgrade the BIOS in this case. Now we are using a gigabyte board. Downgrading the BIOS isn't as simple as updating the BIOS because most board manufacturers will restrict the ability to, to downgrade the BIOS. Um, however, on the gigabyte boards, we have a feature called QFlash Plus, which I'm gonna talk through on how to do that. Um, and that will allow us to just downgrade the BIOS to a previous version where we don't have this issue with the uh, with the lockdown. If you have a motherboard other than Gigabyte, so you might have Asus, MSI, then the process is likely the same. Um, I haven't tested all those boards with this issue. Um, at the moment, it's just being present on the Gigabyte motherboards, whether that be the B550M or the X570s, all the 500 series have had this issue, basically. But now what we're gonna do is run through the QFlash Plus process um, to downgrade the BIOS one version and we're going to um, correct this issue. First thing I'm going to do is boot back into Windows. So I'm just going to uh, press yes on this, it doesn't really matter. With this B550, we're going to head to the board website first. So it's a B550 Gaming X V2. Uh, just head to the link and make sure you check that you have the right revision selected. So in this case, I have uh, revision 1.3, which can be located in the very bottom left corner of the motherboard just there. So we're gonna click on revision 1.3 and head over to support. And then we're gonna go down to BIOS. And at the moment we updated to the latest BIOS, which unfortunately does not work. So we're going to go down a version to version FE just here. So we're going to download that. Head to the folder where you've just downloaded the BIOS and just drag that onto your desktop just so you can find it back easily. We're going to rename this to gigabyte.bin. So we're going to change the last edition from gigabyte FE to gigabyte.bin. Uh, now what you need is a USB. So we're gonna plug in this USB. It doesn't have to be blank. What's important is that the um, name of the file is correct. So we're going to um, open that drive just here. And then uh, you can see I've already got a file in there. That's for a different motherboard. Um, so we're gonna delete that and I'm gonna drag in this new file that's been named gigabyte.bin. Now that the file is on the USB, we need to put the USB into the correct port on the motherboard for us to be able to do the QFlash Plus. And to locate the correct port, the easiest way is if you go back to your board page and go to manual and just go and get the version that suits you best. We just want to scroll down until we find the um, rear ports on the manual, okay? So one of these ports at the back of the motherboard will be a port specifically for Q Flash Plus. Um, 
Now, if we scroll through the list, you can see they've been designated letters. So just underneath, we want to look for the, um, here you go, USB Gen 1 Q Flash Plus port. So that is port F. So if we go back up and just check where port F is, that is just here on the motherboard. So what I'm gonna do now is prepare this USB and I have my keyboard in that port. So I'm going to uh, remove that and swap it around. And then I'm gonna put the USB with the file into the correct port on the motherboard. One more thing you'll want to familiarize yourself with is to activate the Q Flash Plus um, update method. You need to locate the button on the motherboard. So sometimes the button is somewhere on the inside and sometimes it's on the rear I.O. panel. In this case, if we take another look here, you can see this G here is actually the Q Flash Plus port. And if I scroll down to the letter G, um, you can see there it says Q flash plus button. So now that we're familiar with where all the stuff goes, all we need to do is shut down the system. Once the computer's off, it's a good idea to unplug the power supply. So we're gonna unplug that now. I'm gonna leave that for a couple of minutes first. Okay, so that's been off for about a minute or two. So just plug the power supply back in. And the reason we do that is so that there's no residual power left in the board. You want the board to be completely off when we do this operation. Now, I'm gonna show you on the back of the board, you can see the USB is in that port. And just, there you go. So you can see it just next to the USB. So we're gonna push the button and you will notice that it will start flashing. The USB will start flashing and the button will start flashing. That's how we know that the operation has started correctly. All we need to do now is wait for the process to complete. The computer will automatically reboot and once it's rebooted, we'll go from there. So we've made it back into the BIOS and we're going to go back into advanced mode, head over to CSM support. And once again, we need to disable that as it gets enabled after doing an update. Go back down to secure boot. And once again, we're going to switch it to custom and then back to standard and press yes. And this time it's asking us to save. Um, it's a weird question though, reset without saving, which we wanna press no. And we're gonna press F10 to save and exit. And once we've booted back into Windows, we should have our secure boot enabled again. Right, so we're back in Windows. Uh, let's just go and check our system information. And if we take a look at secure boot state, we can see that that is now back on. So if that's helped solve your problem, um, again, if you've got a different motherboard, say Asus, MSI, ASRock, then it's gonna be the same process just with those boards and update the BIOS or downgrade the BIOS. Anyway, that's all. I'll see you next time.